to my channel if you're new here my name is Jade and in today's video I'm going to be speaking to you guys about belly piercings so if you didn't know I got mine done back in March so I've had it done for quite a while and when I was first getting it pierced she did say that it would take 9 to 12 months to heal and I was thinking oh yeah sure like whatever because I've had quite a few other piercings so I was like don't think it's that long, but I can confirm it does take quite a while to heal. So I'm going to run you through the process and my experiences on when I got my belly pierced. Now, to be fair, when I got the piercing, it actually didn't hurt that much. I got just a regular um, clear crystal you'll be able to see in the picture where I show you. But yeah, I absolutely love it. I feel like the bar now that it's healed is slightly too big and I would like to get a shorter one so that it just sits a little bit nicer. You'll be able to see what I mean. But yeah, once I change that, I feel like it'll be fine. I haven't changed it yet because it has only been about seven months since I got the piercing. But I can definitely tell that it is a lot more healed than it used to be because when you first get it healed, it does have like a little bit of like green gunkiness around it and it does get a little bit hard and yucky, which you've got to expect with piercings. That happened for probably a couple months heading into maybe four months. Now you do also get a little red mark around it and that I would say last for probably five to six months, which is quite a long time. So I think the best time to get the piercing would be heading into the cooler months or winter months just because you're not going to be swimming. Because also another con of getting the piercing is that you can't go swimming for about two weeks, but just time it well. And I feel like, yeah, if you get it during the cooler months, you probably won't be swimming anyway. So it's just something to keep in mind. Another great thing about this piercing is that you can pretty much hide it for quite a while. The only time someone would be definitely seeing it is if you're wearing a really skin tight shirt and obviously you can just avoid that around people that you don't want to see it. It's definitely helped me feel a lot more body confident. I remember just thinking like watching I think it was like bring it on the cheerleading show and seeing all of them have belly piercings and I thought when I have the body of my dreams or when I'm getting close to my weight loss goal it was sort of a treat so when I started losing a few kilos and having my belly out a little bit more I was like you know what I'm gonna get it. It's definitely helped my confidence and I freaking love it. I just feel like it looks so cute and it's just a little something. Now I know that people can take it out when they get pregnant and stuff and you can replace it with clear retainers and stuff so yeah I haven't had to change it so far but my piercing's not sore at all. I would say yeah even when it was healing like it wasn't even that painful at all so if you're worried about pain please don't be it's really good and yeah the only thing is you just have to keep in mind that it does look a little bit gross sometimes and for quite a while that's the only con but after that it hasn't given me anything bad. Also when you do first get it pierced, try and be smart and not wear high-waisted things. That's what my piercer told me but I was so in the trend of wearing high-waisted stuff so that's on me. It probably would have healed a little bit quicker if I didn't but yeah it just sort of got caught on quite a few things as you could imagine like just don't wear high-waisted things. Don't do what I did but yeah if you do you're in the same boat as me, I understand, and we're our own worst enemies at the end of the day. Now, if you are wondering how to clean it, you pretty much just get your piercing spray that they had or like a warm salt water solution, get a cotton bud and literally just clean around that bit there. So when I first got it pierced, it didn't really have as much space in between, but now that it's not so swollen and it's definitely calmed down, that's why there is that little bit of room, which is probably where I could change the bar to something a bit shorter. But yeah, I just absolutely love the simple design you can get ones that have like the little dangly bits or ones that are a little bit more extra and out there but I actually quite just like the simple design of this. Also when I first did get it pierced I thought that it was a little bit crooked but ever since it's healed it actually is pretty straight. The only thing I notice sometimes is that it does sit like this so that's when I'm wearing like my high-waisted gym gear so I literally just try and point it back in the right direction but yeah I haven't had any bubbles or anything so that's been absolutely amazing. But yeah I've had a really great overall experience with my belly button piercing. I feel like the healing time even when it is explained to be 9 to 12 months it honestly goes so freaking fast so I wouldn't be put off by that at all time flies especially these days it's insane so yeah don't do that just because you're worried that it's going to take too long to heal it's really not that bad and it's not like it's 9 to 12 months of constantly like that it's just you know a little bit red a little bit tender for the first couple of months but then you're good to go I hope this video helped educate you guys a little bit if you are looking to get your belly button pierced or if you've just had it pierced it's so exciting getting new piercings I can completely relate so I, I hope you guys find this video entertaining or interesting and yeah I will speak to you guys in my next one bye